Hey guys, you know, I'm like kind of bored at my house right now, so that's probably a problem. Probably a problem. That's prob. Um, I'm actually going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to get some dough. I'm actually going to get uh, wheat flour or some kind of organic grain flour and make some bread, maybe some garlic bread or something. Make a shitload of bread, and it just lasts for like two weeks in the fridge. It's awesome. Uh, I, I don't even know why I'm... I should just go get the dough. David was like, you know, if you're feeling, if you're feeling unhappy, if you want a woman in your life, make a video about it and say that. I want a woman in my life. I want the right woman in my life. I, I have like... I don't even know what that means, though, because like... The closest thing to that... I just, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to be motivated to be propelled forward, I'm doing it on my own, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it on my own, that's what I want to do, I want to learn how to do it on my own, I don't want to rely on other people, particularly women, but anyone, you know, I don't want to rely on some, I don't want to rely on someone for uh, motivation, I want to be able to self-motivate, but loneliness is it's tough to motivate in loneliness because then as soon as you start to motivate people are drawn to you and you're not lonely anymore and it's like well now they're motivating me so I've been like eh, 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 and they're like okay like they'll be like come on come on come on and then they'll see like I'm not gonna stop being like eh, and they're like hands in the air they're like done with it but you know I'm done being pushing people away I need people to succeed and they need me. <laughs> Maybe they don't. What is it? Why do people get pissed off at me? Am I controversial just by nature? Because I say, like, really, like, I'll, I'll make, like, they need me, like, say extreme things and make, like, uh, something I should try and figure out. The thing is, in my daily life, people don't get pissed at me because... I don't just talk and talk and talk while they sit there. Every once in a while, someone will graciously listen to me and go on and on about something, but that's pretty rare. Usually, it's either a two-way street or I listen for a long time, or both. Usually, it's a two-way street. But it's nice when I meet people, like a friend of mine I met from YouTube just a little while ago, a couple of days ago, I went over to his house, and uh, he'd, he'd listened to a lot of my videos, so he just talked, and... It was like bouncing out, and it was like I don't mind it. I kind of like sitting there and listening to someone go on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. And like it's kind of cool. It's like when people when they watch, I guess they watch my videos for so long, and they feel like they have all these things to say to me, and then when I'm around them, it's just like blah. They come, they want it, it comes out, and if I talk and don't let them get their words out, they're just like fuck. They get they they're like they look at me like I'm doing something wrong, and they're like essentially kind of telling me not to talk. I just don't like emoting. I feel like emoting is, like, not good. I feel like I figured it out. I thought it was the answer, but it was really, like, the way to lose. Like, I gotta say what I think, you know? But then still, when I'm walking down the street and it's my personal safety, I look at someone and emote and they, they feel very comfortable and keep walking. Always. It's like a shield. Like that. Um... Like that kind of thing. Uh, that kind of thing. You know, it's just like, I blend in. You know, to be 100% honest, my life has been kind of fucked up. Though I've been making, I've been, I've been like, doing what I, I just kind of got out of a tough relationship and smoked a lot of pot instead of dealing with the emotions involved with it. Um... But, I mean, obviously, if you've watched the videos, you know my fucking life. I can't hide it. I deleted those some videos of me and Rebecca talking, and that old channel we had, Understandings, like, because I was, like, trying to cover it up, but, like, so I'm in this relationship with a, Amanda, this my friend Amanda, and we broke up, and I was, like... Well, I was trying to do YouTube, and I was like, great, Amanda's really motivational. She's all talking about the four agreements, and like, yes, you can, yes, you can, kindness, and don't assume anything. And I'm like, yes, yes, 
And then I started to get on YouTube and tell everyone about it. And she was like, Ian, it's too much. It's like every day I would get on YouTube and talk about how you can communicate. Like, don't assume anything, you know? Everything, you can do anything. You can listen to anyone, talk to anyone, and learn anything, and do anything, be anything. You could be an astronaut, a physicist, a rock star, a mountain climber, a deep sea diver, a mathematician, um, a painter, a spelunker, a fucking coal miner, if you want, if you have to. If coal needs to be mined and you're the only one around, then you mine it. Um, but you can do all that stuff in your lifetime. Like, There's no limits. It's awesome. It's like when people are grad students. They're students and teachers at the same time. Not at the same time, but pretty much at the same time. Anyway, this is the stuff I learned being with Amanda, all these great things about what you can do. And then she was like, Ian, you're manic. She kept calling me manic. You're like, you're crazy. you got that wild look in your eye. And I'm like, I don't know what this look is. This look is just my eyes getting wide and looking at a camera. And that's when you see those wide eyes in a lot of those old videos. That's what that is. And I'm watching like videos of people looking at the camera, like Maggie Bond and Dave Day's. And, like, their eyes are wide. I'm like, that sells it. It's, it's the wide eyes. Um, but to her, it was manic and crazy, so I was like, fuck. Because it was so great. Our relationship was, like, tumultuous, but it was good. And she just wasn't into the crazy, like, go, 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 every day, go, dude, yes, 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 kind of thing. And Rebecca, this girl I met right around that kind of transitional period, like, after I started to feel these things... Before I broke up with me, and she, me, and she was like, into it, kind of. She was more like, yeah, you can. The answer is always yes. But she was too extreme in that direction. Like, the answer is not always yes. Come on. The answer is no half the time, or a lot of times. Most of the time. I mean, every once in a while you say yes. Um, or whatever. But it's, it's balanced, you know. It's not one or the other. So I started to get involved with that, but that extreme freaked me out even more. And I was like, fuck this shit. I need some time away from women and relationships. So I cut it off. Oh, that poor fucking girl. I just fucking ravaged her mind and my mind, basically, by, by just getting as high as I could to avoid th even feeling the conversation. Um, and went into seclusion. And I thought I was going to die. I, I was having suicidal thoughts. A friend of mine killed himself. And it was pretty horrible. Uh... It was a very dark time. I'll give you a little bit of chronology. Amanda moved out when we broke up. And then another friend of mine, actually David, who is my current roommate, and his brother Dominic, uh, both moved in. And then, as you can see in the old videos, me, David, Dominic, Ryan lived there, their other brother. And my brother Max came and he lived there, so there's five of us. But then they all moved out and they all left. And this other guy moved in and we both just smoked a lot of pot and drank a bunch of alcohol. Or, well, he drank a lot of alcohol. But it was very just depressing, sad times. It was like I, I was just afraid to embrace the yes you can behavior. I thought once Obama got in office, I bought myself enough time. And it's like I'm on unemployment. It's like literally I'm, I bought myself time. Like I'm, I put a guy into office that funded the unemployment. Now I can fucking sit on unemployment. So I, I just kind of gave – I got really afraid of being some centerpiece of some movement of some, I mean, do you remember, I don't know, if you, if you watched the videos back in like 06 and 07, like, how popular it was getting so fast, and like right before I broke up, just all that shit hit the fan, like, hard and fast, and everyone was watching the drama of my life, and like, you know, people have very harsh beliefs about it, whatever, that was crazy or wasn't crazy, but it was like one or the other, and it was like, freaking me out, probably even more than it was freaking anyone else out. So I, I just... God, what a pussy I fucking was. I, I was like, I can't... I, I was like, I, I just wanted some time alone. Is that okay? I feel like that's okay. At the, at the behest... It, that's not the right word. It, like... It wasn't the right time for me to get into that place in my life. Because I wasn't a good musician, you know? I wanted to be a musician and change the world of music. And at that time, I was a fucking shitty musician. I mean, there's lots of documentation of what a shitty musician I was. A great ear for it, but my body could not do the movement. Now I can do a lot more movement because I've practiced for years, years, and I'm still practicing today on the bass, you know? It's like, it's fun. I love fucking playing bass, man. This is like my passion. It's like...
I fucking love it, dude. It's so fun. Anyway, um, I I feel like I I I lived alone, and then I was like down in the dumps, and David moved back to Los Angeles. I was like gonna give it one more shot, and then we reconnected, and we we're, were able to figure out that we weren't on the wrong path, and so we went into the band, like back in the day, you know, Dominic and David and Ryan were all living there, and we were all musicians, but I wasn't ready, I wasn't a good enough musician, I felt that I was not good enough to be a leader in 07, I feel that I am good enough to be a leader now, whatever that means, being a leader, I feel like it's just listening to people and not really doing what they say, but you got, you know, what they say is as important as what I say, basically. So it's it's almost ironic that I'm making a video and talking when it's you that should be talking. I was like, I should just do an emoting video like Maggie Bond, you know? I watched poor Maggie Bond's last video and she looked so sad. She couldn't. She was having a hard time making eye contact with the camera. She kept looking away from the camera, and I, I feel it. And I was like, I started to think like. Is that, is that like how Rebecca's feeling? Like I, for some reason with, I always equate like, well, not always, but sometimes I'll get like these rushes of emotion from women and I'll, it'll like reference what, how, how Rebecca would handle that or like how she felt. And it's weird. Cause like, I really don't even know her that well, but I just kind of saw her and still kind of see her as the, the woman, like the best fit as a woman could be. I don't know if that. Like, um, uh, yeah, I, I, it's not, yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't know. It's something like that. It's like, a, a, like she's the one or like the, 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 the fucking, um, it's like if, if she can do it, anyone can do it. But I don't know why that is. Because she's a fucked up life, maybe. But that's even, that's just hearsay, you know. She doesn't have a fucked up life. I am the one with the fucked up life if I think that. Um. So. I wonder, like, I see this woman in pain, Maggie Bond, you know, and I wonder if just because of my behavior, everyone's feeling it. Like, if I just embraced her in the transition and just went for it full on, full steam out of that relationship into another one and, like, go, who knows where we'd all be right now. Um, everyone I know would probably be in a better place because I would have been in a better place. I thought I was going to die. I was like, I did not know where I was going. And then this girl who I was getting ready to like make my life with was saying stuff like, the answer is always yes. Like she would, and I, and it was like freaking me the fuck out because the logical part of my brain was like red light flashing, red light r flat. And it's like, okay, 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 okay. And I didn't want to make her feel like she was wrong. So I just smoked a lot of pot to escape the situation and. Rather than make her feel like, I, you know, I, I didn't even know how to have that logical conversation at that time in my life. I just, deep in the recesses of my mind, I knew something was not right about it. Um, dude, embra you know, just embracing the fucking, the fucking power, man. What does that even mean, embracing the power? It doesn't mean talking. I mean, it does. It does. It means being able to convince people of stuff. But I want to convince people of stuff through my actions. Like, I'm not bullshit. Uh, everything I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do. It's not like I'm fucking with people. And just because I say I'm going to do it and it takes 16 years longer than you think it's going to take, doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I am going to do it. But I need to prove that to people because words, 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 you need to see me in action. Maybe as an actor or a musician to know that all my theories are not bullshit. A lot of them are applicable. Most of it is applicable. Like fucking quantum, like when I think of the vibration of the universe, like something's here and then it starts vibrating here, like you're here and you walk over here, but you don't actually walk. You appear in place like that you can use in music, like in behavior, in thought patterns, you can, like, let go of a thought and reappear with a new thought. Like, if you're upset, you let it go and you reappear with a happy thought. It's that easy. You can do it because it happens in nature. Thanks to video games for that. Final Fantasy, particularly. Slime. Seeing slimes appear out of the ground, I was like, ah. Redundancy, I know.
basically, Rebecca, come back to me, and let's do this right. Uh, these people need help. I need help. I need help. Alright, more music soon. Thank you for your comments on the music. I really appreciate it. David also appreciates it. Um, great, you know, just to hear bits of what everyone thinks. It's like a little comment times 40 is fucking awesome. You get to hear a little bit of what everyone thinks. and it's You can see the shape of the thought just, just through the overview. So keep it up. We got a bunch more songs too. And Dominic's in the band now. And there's the three of us now. And Do we got this. Fo Dominic's got a bunch of songs. So you can go to his page, Dominic James 22, and check out a few of his songs that he did. Just him, I think, and maybe some other people. But like, it's it's sounding pretty nice. Um, so we have a bunch of other songs other than those five, which you've probably heard before. So we'll put these up next week. I would like to do maybe make a video. You know, kind of just working it out for myself right now. we got a really busy schedule. Okay, humanityentertainment.com is our website. And that's basically our business, me and David. Uh, and there's a few other people involved in it right now. Um, we're doing headshots and HDR photography, which is high dynamic or uh, high HDR. High dynamic range. Why is that difficult? Because HD is high definition. High dynamic range is what it's called, HDR photography, which basically means two or more apertures of light blending into one photo so you basically take the same photo multiple times or you just put the effect on it afterwards but David's like a master like fucking out of the gate master with this stuff like 89 percent uh proficient with it from day one from he from the moment he showed me about it I was like oh my fucking god you know what you're doing so we're going like full on with like my plan is to shoot a lot of people and fucking make them look beautiful in HDR. And if you have pictures that you want to get HDR by David, that might be something we could facilitate through the website. Like you could send them, we could HDR them and send them back or something. Uh, but we're selling art. We have paintings up on the wall where we have like, they look like paintings. It's fucking digital art, but it's just so beautiful. And we're selling it through the website. So if you're interested in checking some of this stuff out, go to humanityentertainment.com. And you can check our orders. I mean, just browse the pictures. If you see stuff you like, if you want to order it, like huge prints. They print up huge because he has takes raw files with the Canon, so it's, like, amazing. Um, and, you know, that we've got, like, a lot of our production equipment in place right now. So one thing we may be doing, there's this program called Kickstart. I just remembered, uh, like, you set a goal. Like, you say, we, we, need, we want to make $3,000 in a month or whatever. I think it's a month you have to do it. And what I would do is give you a re what we want the money for. Like, we, we want to buy a microphone. Uh, I want to buy a lighting kit. We don't really need a microphone, but I want to buy it. We could use one. I want to buy a lighting kit, and that's like $3,000. I, I would buy a $400, $600, $1,000 one, but they're all like, no, just rent the expensive one. But I'm like, I don't want to rent it. I want to buy it. I want to own it so we can make six movies and not have to pay a dime. It's well, way more cost efficient than trying to rent that shit from someone that's already bought it and trying to make money off it. So... I want to buy equipment. So something we might do is do like a fundraiser to get a few more pieces of equipment. I mean, we have the Canon. We've got these lenses. we got fucking Ryan on sound. Um, it's good shit, man. It's really fucking good. And I'm really excited uh, for what's coming, even though I, I can barely see it. I've got a lot of ideas lined up, um, stuff that obviously I'm not going to talk about because uh, I got, I'm actually going to do it, and then you'll see it, uh, and... I hope you enjoy it because I love making it and you get something out of it. That's fucking great. I'll see you, man.